Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zillion. <laughs> Today I'm reading for the Earth signs, which consists of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Don't forget to like and subscribe, that notification bell to keep track as to when I'm making more videos. Uh, to book a private reading with me and shop at my store. That information is in the description box below. All right, let's see. Let's get into it. What's going on with the Earth signs here? I'm not about to do this. But I just want to see what's going on with the Earth signs. Okay, I'm hearing scared, frightened, doomed. It's like a uh, energy of, hmm. It's like an energy past fright. I don't know how to sum that up, but, hmm. I don't know how to sum that up. Like a, a scary fright. It's just like fright times one million. Like somebody is deathly. And I think that's even saying that is even an understatement. But someone is deathly afraid or frightened of something. Okay. Um, justice is here. So this has a lot to do with the judicial system. It could be. Justice could be served for somebody. Um <laughs> Courthouse came. <laughs> yeah, so somebody uh, evidently has to go to court. <laughs> okay. Because of a message that they received. So this tells me that there was some kind of a letter, paperwork, some kind of documentation um, given to someone, and now they're ending up in court, okay? Now, I do feel like there's a, a lot of hidden agendas that's going on here, and there's also some candle magic that's going on here, okay? So someone is trying to sabotage the court's uh, ruling. So the person who is at fault here, y'all got to take it how it resonates. Because I see a male, but then I see a woman. And it just keeps fluctuating like that. So, I'm going to say they, okay? This person knows how to flip-flop between the energies very, very smoothly. But I can see right through that. <laughs> All right, anywho. Um, they're going to court. So, the person who's on the wrong side of this case, of this incident. And I'm definitely going to check um, we're going to check to see what kind of court case this is. Um, justice will not prevail for them. So whoever is doing this, or if this has already happened, it's not going to prevail for the person who's in, the, in who's at fault or in fault, at fault, at fault. <laughs> now, what kind of message was this? kind of message was this? Whew. Shit, what kind of message was this? Wow, okay. Wow, all right. So, <laughs> we have a praying mantis here. <clears throat> the message was somebody really, really, truly needed to pray. Like, someone has really gotten themselves into some really deep, dark um, tunnel of trouble that they cannot foresee themselves getting out of, okay? Now, this has a lot to do. Someone has a new job or maybe they got fired from their job and maybe they're doing, I keep hearing odds and ends. So, this person is doing odds and ends jobs, okay? Um, but... <sighs> There's a lot of secrets that's not being told here. Secrets is in reverse. There's a lot of secrets that's not out yet from this attention whore. Basically, someone that likes to steal the show, loves a lot of attention, okay? Um, 
just always all eyes on me, no matter what type of energy. They just need to have it. They, they crave that energy or they crave that type of attraction, right? Damn, somebody's doing candle work to throw off the case. Yes, they are. So it feels like this could be a couple that is in court, okay? Could be a secret lover. All right. Oh, shit. Damn, spirit, you spilling everything. Shit, okay? Okay, secret lover. Good to be true. Oh, someone found out that they had a secret lover. Keep hearing exposed. I keep hearing exposed. I'm vibrating really hard right now. Okay, yeah. So we have a high priestess there. Okay, so someone um, that knows the arts and do it for, you know, maybe the good things, the right side of things. And I don't want to say it like that because you can use it. You can use. Anyways, I hope you get understand what I'm saying. They don't, they're not out here willy-nilly just using their energy or the cane where somebody sees, oh, I got to do something. I got to put a cane under you. Or somebody, because you oh, I got to do cane. They're not like that. This high priest is very in tune, very mature with their craft. That's the perfect term. So. Mm. This is a triangle. Oh, okay. This is a triangle. Okay, so there is an attention whore here, Right? I feel like they're going to court over some secrets, but there are there are still a lot of secrets that has not been divulged yet um, in regards to the secret lover, okay? Now, I feel like this high priestess here, because I keep hearing exposed, is exposing this attention whore, right? I feel the secrets, because right here is all the secrets right here, okay? So I feel like the secrets are, they may be suffering from bipolar, okay? They may have, uh, I'm hearing extensive, so drug use, extensive drug use. This person has anger issues, okay? And then we have financial success, okay? So I feel like this attention whore. Oh, the attention whore is doing the candle magic. That's the hidden agenda. The attention whore is doing the candle work, the candle magic. Okay, so justice could be um, served on there. And this is why the prayer mantis card came out. Okay, stick with me. They got a message to probably a lawyer here, say whatever, email, I don't know, whatever. Some out of court, whatever, documents. Um, and it started, I heard that you have to pray. You have to really, really pray to get yourself out of this. So this person is, is um, Normally does candle work behind the scenes. That's the hidden agenda here. Okay, this person has a lot of anger issues, has an extensive drug use, bipolar as well. Okay, I feel like someone thought that this person was too good to be true, but they're really an attention whore. Okay, now the person on the other side, they may have had to get a new job because of this person. All right, but justice will be served. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, um, and this could be this, the, this attention whore could have been the secret lover. Okay. Um, someone has financial success here. So it could be the high priestess that has the uh, mm, financial success. And those were the secrets, okay? The secret was that candle magic is being used while they're going to court. That's the hidden agenda, but they're trying to make it, like, fix it to where they're going to win, okay? So this may have happened already or this is going to happen. So take, take it how it resonates with your storyline, um, but yeah, financial success. The person is going to come out the upper door, the upper dog, or the underdog is going to come up. Basically, this is with the financial success, or it can be a new job as well, too. Okay. Um, another scenario is that someone wins here. Okay. With the financial success, a new job. And when, you know, as you winning in court, you now have a new opportunity, a new Whatever experience, do whatever. Okay, new job, whatever. Take out my seats. 
Unexpected income. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting ready to come into unexpected income from this court, court case. Yep. Wow. And I saw poverty. I saw poverty in reverse. I just saw it. Where is it? It'll pop. There it is. Yeah. Poverty in reverse. Yeah. Wow. That's dope. Yeah, but this attention hoard is doing a lot of stuff. I'm hearing, I'm pregnant. And then I hear, no, you're not. This person has bad health. I hear, I'm pregnant. Don't talk to me that way. I'm pregnant. You're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. You're lying. That's what I, this is what I hear. Keep hearing, why don't you just leave? Just leave. You get on my nerve. So you can go back to that bitch. That's what I heard. Child. Y'all let me know what's that. Let me know. Y'all heard through the grapevine. That's what they said. Like really said. Can y'all write that in the comments? Because I'm channeling that real hard. Like my ear is up against the wall. Like dang. That attention whore is giving it to that person. Ooh. And when I say giving it to them, I mean cuss out, like, you ain't shit, you ain't this, you ain't that. Bad health. This person in bad health. Mentally, message of concern, bad health. Yeah, they don't want to work for anything. They just want to take. Wow, look. Unexpected income and um, high honor. This person is not of high honor. And this person doesn't have any money. <laughs> oh, they in despair. Money train about to run out. They don't know what to do with themselves. Imprisonment. Somebody going to jail. Somebody going to jail. It could be a, a physical jail or it could be a jail in in the mind, but somebody going there, J A I L, jail. Am I is a thief? <laughs> Jesus. Money. Somebody stole money. They going to jail. Jail. Plotting. Somebody was plotting on somebody's money. A lot of domestic violence here. I feel like somebody is afraid of speaking up and I, it feels like a masculine. Yeah, bully. Check the DM. Okay, so they go back and forth and DMs, text messages. I'm sure the, the DMs feel of like back and forth exchanges of like rage and anger and stuff like that. Somebody was definitely plotting on somebody's money. Did something with somebody's money. Great fortune. Yeah. Wow. What the hell, child? Impulsive. Everything is about money. Legal matters. Everything is about money. Might be dealing with the tourists. There's definitely some karma for that, eh? I said, let's call me for that ass. I'm going to say it one more time. I said, let's call me for that ass. <laughs> mm -mm. You fuck with the boo, you get the whore. Yeah, Shaq, yeah, baby. That's from Shaq from um, with J Samuel L. Jackson. That's my all-time favorite movie. Hands down. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got dealing with. Might be dealing with an Aquarius. So I said Taurus and Aquarius. Look at my thumb. Uh, Virgo. A Capricorn. Capricorn again. 
Capricorn again. Okay, so we definitely got a Capricorn in here. This is a high fix it. Okay, Capricorn is in here. A Taurus. Taurus was also in here. Capricorn and a Taurus. God damn, and an Aquarius. So yeah, those are the really top three signs that I kept pulling out. Was a Capricorn, Taurus, and an Aquarius. And that's deeply... Yeah, so um, y'all let me know how that goes with that court case. Because um, my nosy ass want to know what happened. Because that's a lot. Alright, so if it do resonate with you guys... Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, Earth Signs, peace. <laughs>